Hey there, it's Heather Hakes. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you Dr. Joe Dispenza's two-step manifesting formula. Before we dive into today's lesson, I want to offer you a free video training on how to reprogram your subconscious mind. You can grab it directly in the description box below and also on my website, heatherhakes.com. Today, I want to share with you Dr. Joe Dispenza's two-step manifesting formula. And I want to share with you how I learned about this and put it into play before I ever attended his week-long meditation retreat. Now, you may have heard about manifesting and law of attraction that like attracts like, and that is true. But I want to share it with you from a scientific standpoint and how quantum physics is teaching us how thoughts truly become things. So let's start at the very top. I love Nikola Tesla's quote. If you want to know the secrets of the universe, you have to think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And here's what I want you to know about that. You are emanating and emitting a frequency and vibration based on two things, your thoughts and your emotions. How Dr. Joe Dispenza describes it is your thoughts are an electrical charge sending intentions out and it's your emotions and feelings that are the magnetic force drawing experiences back to you. Now what Dispenza teaches is you don't go anywhere to get the thing that when you are thinking and feeling and I'm going to share this formula with you. Things, serendipity, synchronicities, things just happen. And I'm, I'm going to give you real world examples on how I've put this into play. But what I want you to understand is from knowing that everything in our universe is energy and frequency, although everything looks solid, it is truly 99.999% empty space and that all the matter and the things we see are 0.0001% actual physical matter. So from that lens alone, we are seeing less than 1% of reality. Now what science teaches us is about the observer effect. Now let me explain that to you so you understand how thoughts become things. Creation is already done. It's Everything has already been created. So the fact that you have a desire, you dispense a calls them a new potential. The fact that you want a new potential, maybe it's money and experience, travel, a relationship, business success. The fact that you desire it means it's already available to you, but it's up to you to match the frequency and vibration of that object, that experience, that person, that dollar amount. And I want to share with you how to actually do that. Back to the observer effect. The observer effect simply states everything, frequency and vibration are waves and not until we observe or put our attention onto that item, that potential, it then through our observation, through our awareness, through our intention, literally collapses the wave function into a particle. So all that means for you is once you observe a potential, something that you want and you match its frequency, it literally becomes matter and how it comes your way is none of your business. That's why the whole point in manifesting, you have to get clear on the what, but the how and the when are never your job. Here's where most people go wrong and it's just, it's the harder, longer way of doing things. When you're trying to create something matter to matter, for example, finding a new job and applying to a hundred different jobs and updating your resume, that is one way to do it, but that's the hard way. And instead, what you can do is, and I did this before I ever knew about Dispenza's teachings, but for example, years ago, I got really clear at the time I was a paralegal in personal injury litigation. It was glorified paper pushing a horrible job. Plus I had a really terrible commute. So I got really clear. I wanted to work downtown. I wanted to make a specific dollar amount. I wanted to work in oil and gas and a good company culture. That's all I wanted. I got really clear on that. And then I went about my business. Then a recruiter reached out to me and offered me a potential, I ended up interviewing and got the job. But do you see how I wasn't forcing and efforting and submitting a million resumes, trying to make something happen? I got clear on it and then the resource came to me, which led to the inspired action. So now I want to get into Dr. Joe Dispenza's manifesting formula. It's a simple two steps. 
And I'm going to share with you many ways in which I've put this into play. And I'm telling you this stuff works. But what I always preach is knowledge alone is not power. Creating change in your life, creating these new potentials is not an intellectual job. It's about an embodiment and it's about applying it and implementing it to your life. So that's why I'm giving you the two steps and I want you to actually put this into play. So here's what Dispenza teaches. In order to create a desired result, here is your formula and here's how to use it. Step number one, you need a clear intention. Step number two, you need to come up with a list of at least four elevated emotions. As an example, the emotions that you would have if that object, that desire, the dollar amount, that person, the relationship, if you already had it. This is a lot of what Neville Goddard taught as well, the law of assumption living from the end. But the point of this is when you get clear on your desire and you understand those elevated emotions, remember if we go back to the beginning, your thoughts are the electrical charge sending frequencies out. Your emotions and feelings are the magnetic force drawing it back to you. So when you are living on this higher vibration and frequency, being clear on what you want, mentally rehearsing, feeling as though it's already yours, you literally become the vortex drawing the resources and the experiences to you. So let me give you a real world example on how I put this into play. It was the fall, it was September of 2020. I had learned about Dr. Joe Dispenza January of that year. So I'd been fully immersed for nine months learning about his teachings and reading the books and listening to all the podcasts. And I was like, man, I really wanna experience a week long meditation retreat. It was September of 2020 and the next one wasn't until January. And I was like, man, I don't want to wait four more months, but there was nothing else planned. And I was like, and it was in Marco Island, Florida in January of 21. I'd already been to Marco Island for a Tony Robbins event. I didn't want to go back to Marco Island. So I got clear. I knew in the summer of 2020, he had done a retreat in Cancun. So I got clear. I want to go to a Dr. Joe Dispenza retreat in Cancun. That was it. I got really clear. Dispenser retreat in Cancun. And then I got really clear on the emotions. Grateful that I got to experience it, feeling joy and happy that it was already done. And guess what? I cannot make this up. It was just a couple of weeks later, they quote, happened to announce they were releasing December of 2020, a new retreat. It was going to be in Cancun. And registration was coming up in October. So long story short, I of course got to register and I went to the week long retreat and it was an amazing experience, but it was because I got really clear on what I wanted to experience. And then I embodied and became that energy and frequency so that they quote, happened to release another one. It was only a couple weeks out and that's when you get to let go, surrender and let life surprise you. So I want you to put this into play. I'm gonna give you the how to, the formula again. I want you to get really clear and do this for one thing so your attention goes all in on one thing. And then guess what? Once you've done this and you have the experience in the belief and the confidence behind it, continue putting this formula into play. Have fun with it. That's what we're here in this human experience to have fun. So step number one, get really clear. What is an intention that you want to create, have, be, do, or experience? If it's a dollar amount, how much? If it's a relationship, then you can have sub intentions. Is it, you know, marriage material? you know, an active, healthy lifestyle, somebody that's mentally aligned, get really clear, what is that? If, if it's a, a, a vacation, well, where do you wanna go and for how long? So get really clear, what is that desired result? Step number two, come up with at least four emotions you would feel if that experience or desire is already yours. And then what you do through mental rehearsal, you can do this in meditation throughout your day, morning and evening, is just practicing and, and visualizing and seeing it already done, being so clear, living it, creating that real world. Because guess what? Your mind does not know the difference between imagination and reality. And then let go, let life surprise you. 
If you want to learn more about this at a deep dive level, I provide one-on-one -on -one coaching. Not only do I teach you manifesting, because that's the really fun things, but I really help you understand the mindset and the mental programming and creating the identity shift so you can step into what I call version 2.0. To learn more and schedule a free call, visit my website, heatherhakes.com. What I want to remind you of and leave you with is this. You can have, be, do, and experience anything you want in this lifetime. Your only job is to get rid of any of the blocks and obstacles that you are self-imposing and start having more fun in life. Remember, put this into play, the two steps, a clear intention, and those elevated emotions that it's already yours. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you're the first to know when new videos drop and give me a thumbs up. I'll catch you on the next one.